unguided media. Uh, transport electromagnetic wave uh, without using a physical conductor. Uh, ni unguided media ni untuk wireless communication. So unguided signals can travel from source to destination in several ways. Ground propagation, sky propagation and line of sight propagation. So this is the electromagnetic spectrum for wireless communication. So untuk uh, wireless communication, dia bermula daripada 3 kHz sehingga 900 terahertz. So daripada 3 kHz to 300 GHz tu adalah uh, belongs to uh, radio wave and microwave and 300 GHz up to 400 tera untuk infrared. Okay, dan dia ada tiga jenis propagation macam mana signal tu travel daripada source destination, ground, sky and line of sight. Okay, so kita tengok. Okay, dari segi uh, figure representation ni, ground propagation ni adalah below 2 MHz dia punya frekuensi dia. Okay, dan dia mengikut uh, lengkung bumi ni. Okay, uh, kalau untuk sky propagation, dia daripada antena uh, dipantulkan ke ionosphere dan back tu dia second antena bila dia nak hantar uh, data ataupun <coughs> uh, message. Okay, dan dia punya... Uh, Frekuensi dia 2 hingga 30 MHz. Untuk line of sight above 30 MHz. Nah, dan uh, dua antena ni, dua satellite ni mesti uh, berdepan face to face directly. Okay, kita tengok dia punya explanation. Ground propagation, uh, radio wave travel through the lowest portion of atmosphere. This low frequency signal, okay, below below 3, uh, below 2 MHz tadi. Okay. Uh, so, the low frequency signal emanate in all direction from the transmitting antenna and follow the curvature of the planet. So, signal yang dipancarkan daripada antena tu akan mengikut lengkung bumi. Dan distance depends on the power of the signal. Berapa jauh signal tu boleh pergi, uh, jarak dia tu bergantung kepada kekuatan signal itu sendiri. Sky propagation, higher frequency compared to the first one. Okay, radio wave radiate upward into the ionosphere where they are reflected back to earth. Greater distance with lower output power. And then last one, line of sight, very high frequency transmitted in straight line directly from antenna ante, uh, to antenna must be uh, facing each other. Okay, ni adalah band dia. Band dan range untuk setiap uh, propagation. Okay, dan you boleh tengok application dia apa. Okay, yang ni I, I leave it to you to read on your own. Okay, tak ada apa pun. Uh, then, okay, um, just now I have shown you the electronic spectrum. Okay, yang ni. Untuk wireless communication. Yeah, so, sekarang kita tengok wireless transmission wave. Okay, radio wave, microwave and infrared. Okay. So, first radio wave versus, uh, versus microwave. So, microwave ni uh, from 3 kilohertz to 1 gig. Normally called uh, radio wave, okay, uh, wave ranging in frequency between 1 and 300 uh, gigahertz are called microwave. Okay. Next, okay, kita tengok dia punya features atau characteristic of radio wave. Okay, radio wave is omnidirectional. When an, an antenna transmit radio wave, they are propagated in all direction. Uh, so, bila satu antena tu menghasilkan radio wave, dia akan tersebar ke ataupun menyebar ke banyak arah, ke semua arah. The sending and receiving antenas do not have to be aligned. Jadi, untuk uh, sky propagation, untuk radio wave ni, okay, ni dia tidak memerlukan antena tu berhadapan. Dia akan menyebar ke uh, seluruh direction. Okay, to all directions. Uh, so that's why sending and receiving antenna do not have to be aligned. Sending antenna send wave that can be received by any receiving antenna. So mana-mana antenna yang boleh menerima signal akan menerima signal yang dihantar. Okay. So what are the disadvantage uh, ataupun disadvantage of uh, omnidirectional property ni? Okay. Bila apa sahaja signal yang dihantar akan diterima oleh mana-mana receiving antenna. Okay, disadvantage dia, the radio wave transmitted by one antenna are susceptible to interference by another antenna that may send signals using the same frequency or band. So, bila katalah satu antena A, dia send uh, satu signal kepada antena B, okay, <coughs> radio wave. So, dalam masa yang sama katalah ada satu lagi signal, ada satu lagi antena C, 
also sending uh, data to antenna D. Okay, menggunakan radio wave. Jadi, uh, communication antara A, B mungkin terganggu oleh C dengan D sekali jika mereka menggunakan same frequency band dengan adanya uh, karakteristik omnidirectional ni. Sebab mana-mana uh, antena yang ber, uh, berpotensi untuk menerima signal akan menerima signal yang dihantar selagi mana mereka berada dalam range yang mampu dicapai oleh signal tu. So radio wave can travel long distance, uh, long distance, good for broadcasting such as AM radio. Radio wave with low and medium frequencies can penetrate walls. This characteristic can be both advantage and disadvantage. So kita boleh katakan advantage radio wave ni, uh, since dia boleh penetrate wall, advantage dia kita boleh menerima siaran radio walaupun berada dalam bangunan. Tapi disadvantage dia cannot isolate communication to just inside or outside of building. Okay. Ha, sebab dia boleh menembusi radio, uh, menembusi uh, wall, penetrate walls. So kalau kita dengar radio dalam uh, bangunan, uh, orang yang luar di luar bangunan pun mungkin terganggu oleh uh, signal tu, radio wave tu. Okay, next karakteristik uh, radio Radio wave band is relatively narrow, just under 1 gig compared to microwave band. Okay, microwave tadi 1 gig hingga 300 gig. So, bila dia punya band tu sempit, narrow, so when div uh, divided into subband, the subband are also narrow. Bahagi lagi uh, kepada subband, uh, so we will have low data rate for digital communication if we uh, use radio wave. Okay, so this is about omnidirectional antenna. Omnidirectional antenna adalah hmm, uh, antenna that can send out signal in all direction. Uh, omnidirectional characteristic of radio wave is useful for multi uh, multicasting. So, uh, ciri omnidirectional ni sangat berguna untuk multicasting. Which, uh, which means there is one sender but many receiver. Satu sender boleh menghantar banyak, boleh mencapai banyak receiver dengan ciri yang ada pada omnidirectional. So examples of multicasting AM and FM radio, TV and the cordless phone. And the next one is uh, microwave. Okay, untuk microwave, electromagnetic wave having frequencies from uh, between 1 and 300 gig. Okay, berbeza dengan uh, radio wave. Microwave is unidirectional. Dia punya uh, karakteristik dia. Means when an antenna transmit microwave wave, they can be narrowly focused. They lebih focus. Okay, this means that the sending and receiving antennas must uh, need to be aligned. Maksudnya, untuk membolehkan microwave uh, signal tu dihantar dan diterima dengan baik, uh, antenna sender dengan receiver tu mesti uh, selari dia punya kedudukan dia, align. Okay, advantage dia, Advantage unidirectional ni, no interference with another pair of aligned antenna. So, bila sender dengan receiver ni mesti align, barulah uh, signal tu boleh diterima, signal microwave tu boleh diterima. Kebaikan dia, tidak ada interference oleh uh, pair of another aligned antennas. Tidak terganggu oleh pasangan antena yang lain. So, microwave propagation is line of sight. The towers with the mounted antennas need to be in direct sight of each other. Repeaters are often needed for long distance. Satu lagi karakteristik untuk microwave, cannot penetrate wall. This can be disadvantage if receivers are inside the building. So, bila dia tidak dapat menembusi uh, dinding, kalau uh, receiver tu berada dalam bangunan, of course, signal microwave tidak dapat diterima. Uh, then, next karakteristik, microwave band is relatively wide. Okay, almost, sebab dia daripada 1 to uh, to to uh, 1 to 300 gig okay so does the wider subband and higher data rate compared to radio wave okay ni adalah dish antenna ni adalah horn antenna okay ni gambar sebenar dia okay <coughs> parabolic dish antenna kita tengok sikit tentang dish antenna every line parallel to the line of sight reflect of the curve at angle such that all line intersect in common point called focus okay So, maksudnya dia akan terpantul kepada satu titik fokus. Ni adalah uh, dish antena. Kalau untuk horn antena, 
outgoing transmission are broadcast up a stem and deflected outward in a series of narrow parallel beams by the curve head. Okay, ni uh, untuk hon antena masuk dan pancarkan macam ni. Okay. So, microwave are useful for unicast one-to-one -one communication. Contoh dia, cellular phone, satellite networks and wireless local area networks. Itu untuk uh, microwave. And then the last one we have here, uh, infrared. Infrared ni from 300 gig sehingga 400 tera. Okay. The wavelength dia from 1 millimeter to 770 nanometer can be used for short range communication. Having high frequencies cannot penetrate walls, prevent interference. Okay. Uh, in addition, we cannot use infrared wave outside a building. Because sun's rays contain infrared also that can interfere. Okay, can transmit data, digital data with a very high data rate. Okay. Okay. So by that, uh, we finish chapter uh, 6.